though, and you may have noticed here our little puzzle behind us since the pandemic started. Puzzles have become more popular than ever. Jigsaw, Sudoku, crosswords, anything to keep us and our brains occupied. Yeah, and this Friday, it turns out, is National Puzzle Day. So we want to share with you a way to up your puzzle library because chances are you've already done all the ones that you own at this point in the pandemic. So here to tell us about the Puzzle Day Prize <laughs> is a legit puzzle expert, Eric Dowdle, folk artist and founder of Dowdle Puzzles. Thank you so much for joining us, Eric. Yeah, puzzle guy. Every artist wants to be known as that guy. <laughs> no, but it's cool. And you even have your really awesome Pirates puzzle behind you. Oh, yeah. You go, like we said earlier, if you go to the game, it could be uh, who cares what the score is. That is the best venue in the world for a baseball game. Oh, yeah. No, we've, we've long decided that we don't need to care about the score anymore. No, we just love the we ballpark. Just go for the, yeah. for just, the just hot go dogs eat and the, the, food, the, the scenery. Talk to your neighbor. Yeah. <laughs> All right, hey, tell us how you are celebrating National Puzzle Day because you have a neat thing going on. Yeah, yeah. Well, there, um, a lot of people have blamed us for the pandemic because uh, puzzles is what everybody's doing. Right. I mean, uh, eliminate all other activities and you end up with puzzles. And we're just having so much fun with all the different places that I've painted over the years. People are, you know, we can't travel, so uh, people are getting to do the places they love. And uh, we decided to come up with an event where uh, National Puzzle uh, Day could be turned into a weekend. And we're going to give people an opportunity to win $500 worth of free puzzles and Go to the places they just wish they uh, or that they remember and they they want to go to soon. So why do and we're going to find out more about this prize, but why do puzzles fascinate us? What, what does it do to our brain? I mean, <clears throat> here's what's fun. If you if you do a puzzle with somebody you don't even know in about a half an hour, you're going to know them because you're you let your guards down. You know, all of a sudden you're you're, you're real authentic. You're yourself. You. I mean, you watch somebody put down a piece and you'd think they invented nuclear fuel. Yeah. They just have, their personality comes out. Boom, children, I got it. it. It does build self-esteem with every piece they put in. It's, it's, it's a, an amazing thing to watch. So why did you decide to start Dowdle Folk Art Puzzles? Because, I mean, you're a folk artist, but why make puzzles out of them? Yeah, it, it's you? true. Nobody goes to art school and, uh, and thinks puzzles. So I, I was doing a puzzle with a gentleman. It was a very uh, well-known man, and I, I wanted to get to know him. And, and like I said, within about a half an hour, I'm going, this is like the perfect venue to get to know somebody. And, you know, that's how I learned about my daughter's first kiss. You know, she just oh. kind of let it slip out. Oh, and I'm going, oh. <laughs> the <laughs> yeah, then you, react, you, can, you can't react too much to it. You're like, yeah, that's great. Yeah. So, yeah. What's his name and address? Not going to pay him a visit or anything. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we know him. <laughs> yeah, okay. He's no longer with us. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. No. <laughs> All right, so right now we're seeing some Amish puzzles. And you, we should say, uh, you've sold over a million puzzles. And you've featured a lot from Pennsylvania as well. Uh, and, and these are from places that you've visited around the world. Yeah, I've been fortunate. Uh, a long time ago, I looked at the demographic of who does folk art. And, and then I looked at uh, the puzzle, or I mean, the travel side of uh, art. And I went, you know, uh, folk art is a combination of people and their environment. So I've traveled all over the world trying to capture that, that memory that we all have when we're out doing the, and going to the places we love. And we should say, so we saw uh, Amish country, we saw Gettysburg, and the Pittsburgh Pirates won. It's sold out right now, but you're going to make more yeah. of it, right? Yeah, it was a project I did with Garth Brooks years ago, and uh, I'll have to give him a call and see if he wants some more. I see. Okay. I, I, I think he will. So uh, before we let sure. you go, tell us how people can win this cool prize. I believe if they log on to DowdleFolkArt.com and uh, send in their email, I think we're asking people to, to uh, tell us where they puzzle, how they puzzle, and uh, some of their favorite places. We just like the engagement around the puzzle, the uh, atmosphere. So come to our website at dowdlefolkart.com and you can play in our sandbox. Awesome. So much fun. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, Eric. Hey, thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. And you can look for the link to Dowdle Puzzles at pittsburghtodaylive.com to enter the contest for the National Puzzle Weekend celebration and let us know how you do. Yeah, hopefully you win. Yeah.